Hello guys, welcome to FM 2021. In this video we are going to check one great Italian club and that's AS Roma. First thing that we are going to see are training facilities. Roma has fantastic uh, stadium Olimpico, capacity around 70,000. Training facilities are 18, that's great. Then youth facilities 19, almost the maximum. Junior coaching 15, youth recruitment 18 and corporate facilities only 8. Okay, now let's check uh, the best players and their current and potential abilities. So still the best player at AS Roma is adding Jacko Bastian striker. I really like this kind of strikers. Very intelligent player, team player, awesome in the air, very strong. The only problem is that he's 34 years old and his acceleration is only 10. Uh, we see that next player is uh, Miktarian, a 31 years old winger. It's right time to sell him because he's uh, 31, maybe you can earn some money. I know that he's not a bad player, but still, uh, Roma has too many players over 30 years. And that's the biggest problem. Uh, we see that next is Pedro. He's 33 years old, winger, inside forward, uh, current ability 153. Uh, then we have Jordan Veritut, uh, 27 years old, Mezzala, French Mezzala. Very interesting player with the current ability 152 Nicola Zaniolo future of Roma but the biggest problem many injuries yeah and we see that he's going to be absent for around seven to eight months and this is destroying his career even in real life because Nicola Zaniola, Zaniola is really incredible uh, wonder kid okay then we have Lorenzo Pellegrini 24 years old advanced playmaker incredible technical attributes team player vision 17 Wow, I really like this kind of players. Uh, then we have Chris Smalling, English central defender, very good physical attributes. Um, Alessandro Florenzi, 29 years old, on loan at Paris Saint-Germain. Interesting wing back. Um, then we have Leonardo Spinazzola, 27 years old, winger, uh, actually can cover a uh, whole left side. I would use him as a wing back. Uh, great speed, fantastic dribbling, and uh, nice crossing. Okay, we have Gianluca, uh, Gianluca Mancini, a ball playing defender, 24 years old, a very interesting player. Uh, we won't forget uh, about Tamado Diavara, uh, deep line playmaker, ball winning midfielder. Now let's see, uh, do we have some young players with a high potential? And we see that uh, we have one Israeli winger, but his potential is nothing special, 127, that's not that good for Roma. Uh, we have Maras uh, Kumbula, he's on loan, he's loaned from Verona, but actually join, joining permanently, that's a good thing. His potential ability 163, yeah, that's great. Then we have Ibanez, uh, he's on loan from Atalanta, but actually joining permanently. Also great potential, fantastic central defender, potential ability 165. Uh, then Justin Clivert, uh, he's on loan at Leipzig, but very good potential, 164. Nicolo Zaniolo, we spoke about him, we said that injury is destroying his career. Uh, then uh, Perez, 22 years old, Spanish winger, attacking midfielder, also nice potential, 155. I uh, won't forget about Gonzalo Villar, Spanish advanced playmaker. We see many technicians <clears throat> at Roma right now, and that's, that's a good thing. Okay, uh, now let's see, um, under 20 squad, do we have some interesting kids there? And yes, we have, uh, that's 18 years old, uh, Ricardo Calafiori, a uh, wing back, really nice potential. I mean, it's not a bad idea to put him in the first team and to play, uh, he must play some minutes in the first team, that's very important. In real life, he's playing games and that's a good thing. We see his potential is 158, uh, okay. Next is uh, Mertzettin, but he's 23, he won't improve too much. Uh, Ante Cioric, uh, 23 also, potential ability 145. Uh, then David Boa, Italian wing back, uh, another wing back with an interesting potential, 142. And here you can check all the other players. Uh, but now let's see under 18 squad. Do we have some interesting kids there? Actually, uh, the best is... Uh, uh, Giacomo Faticanti, 16 years old, uh, ball winning midfielder with the potential ability 137, but this is still nothing for AS Roma, not, not that great potential.
Okay, now I'll show you the best tactic information for Roma. Okay, so this would be my first team and I'll play in really interesting formation. 3-3-2-1-1 three, three, one, one. attack. I would use that in Jacob, but not as a poacher. I would try with uh, I would play with him like um, complete forward attacking duty. Yeah, so Adam Jacob complete forward. The only problem is that he's not that fast. Uh, then behind him, Pellegrini, advanced playmaker. He's going to create everything incredible technical attributes. We spoke about him. Uh, then Cristante, CM support duty. He's going to help defense. He's going to help attack. And Veritut, box to box midfielder, also someone who is going to run up and down. He's born for this position, also can play as Mezala. Then Diavara, deep line playmaker, going to connect your defense with attack. And we have Spinazzola, wing back attacking duty. We'll run up, we'll help an uh, attack, we'll give some nice crosses to Edin Dzeko. Uh, then Bruno Perez, uh, he's going to play on the right side as a complete wing back. He's going to roam from position, he's going to help attack a lot. Okay, then two ball playing defenders, Ibanez and Mancini, they're going to create, they have nice passing skills. And Smalling in the middle, a central defender. Uh, and on the goal, I would use uh, Lopez or even you can use a better option. I know that he's 37, but still the best goalkeeper at Roma, that's Antonio Mirante. At least in FM, he's still the best goalkeeper, that's for sure. Okay, uh, now I will show you some players that you should try to sign. We can see that Roma has around 17 million transfer budget, wage budget 2.4, that's not that bad. So we can afford some interesting players uh, and first on my list would be Dominic Livakovic, Croatian goalkeeper, sweeper keeper. We see that our goalkeepers are not that good, especially Antonio is getting older, he's 37 and this is why the right time to buy a new goalkeeper. Then Jefferson Soteldo from Venezuela playing uh, in uh, Brazilian league, first division. Uh, we see that this is incredible player and the best thing, compensation zero. So you just need to sign him and he can be really useful. Okay, then we have Nicolas de la Cruz uh, from Uruguay, also very interesting player, priced between three and five million. Uh, then next is uh, Talis Magno. Uh, we see that uh, Edin Dzeko is 34 and we don't have some great quality strikers. Uh, Talis Magno is already incredible. He is only 18 years old and uh, we see that his potential ability is 161, current ability 125. He can grow up, he can be the best striker in uh, Italian league. Okay, and last on my list is also another great striker, that's Marcos Leonardo, he's only 70 years old Brazilian. And check his uh, potential ability 161 also, current ability 113. So guys, this was my team and tactics guide for Rome, a very interesting club to manage in Italy. If you like this kind of videos, then don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe. See you and bye bye.